Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily futures market review for the trading day ending Wednesday, February 4th. Firstly to gold futures and uh, here we see a white body candle following the uh, black body candle the sellers taking control below the 1266.50 level. There was potential for the sellers to continue the trend to the downside uh, but we've seen some buying coming into the market. The buyers have taken back control by closing up towards the high but found strong resistance at the 1273 level. Um, the buyers have also been unable to change the trend. Uh, the trend uh, is still to the downside and uh, there is a possibility now of the buyers going on with the move, the shift in momentum, the shift in control. Uh, but they will need to be uh, strong to breach the 1273 level and the resistance at the tank and indicator at uh, roughly about 1276. We do have a bullish market in the longer term and medium term time frames so uh, in line with uh, the uh, higher time frame trends there is a good opportunity here for the buyers. Having said that however the size of the white body here is uh, quite a bit smaller than the previous black body so the answer to that strong downside momentum that we saw for the previous day's trading is probably not as great as we'd like to see for a potential change of trend but still uh, a lot is going to depend on uh, the buyers as they test up to the Tenkatsen if they do get up to that area. Just looking at the uh, bands here with uh, gold futures and uh, here we've seen for the second consecutive day support at the middle of the bands and this suggests that there is an opportunity here for the buyers um, on the back of this switch in momentum and a renewed commitment. The problem is going to be potential resistance at the top band if they're able to trade up through there. And that's independent of any of the uh, other Ichimoku analysis uh, that uh, are roughly about 1293, if the buyers are strong enough, could see uh, resistance coming into the market and could see some selling around that area. So a lot's going to, p to depend on this next candle. If we do see selling and we see a bearish close down below the middle of the bands, which trades at 12.66 at the moment, uh, we could see development of uh, a downtrend uh, further to the downside with uh, possible support coming in down at the bottom of the bands at 12.39. But at the moment it certainly doesn't seem that way. It seems as though there is a good likelihood of the market trading to higher levels. Next to NYMEX Oil and here we've seen the sellers re-emerge in the market. Following three um, moderately bullish candles. Two of them have been quite strong. Um, the uh, last uh, two trading days prior to the last white body candle here has seen the buyers uh, continue with control and if you recall yesterday's analysis we were watching this candle here um, that tested up to the 5466 level of resistance we saw the strong rejection at that area and we saw the buyers lose commitment and lose control of the market that set the, the sellers up for the change of trend that we've actually seen today and the sellers have closed with control by closing down towards the low importantly the sellers have closed down below the 49.90 roughly $50 uh, round number level of support and closed in a bearish manner down below the Kitchen Sen indicator and just closed below the Tengen Sen. It suggests that there is an opportunity here of the sellers returning and testing down to lower levels. A lot will depend on this next candle. Uh, if the sellers are strong enough, if they can breach 46.72 then down to 44.78 and just below the swing high there around 43.40 we could see um, a resumption of that very strong selling in NYMEX oil. But um, we're not likely to see that all in one go. A lot is going to, to depend on how the market reacts around these support levels. And just looking at the bands, and uh, here we saw the squeeze going on previously, the bullish uh, test through the uh, upper band. And uh, as always, uh, we like to see confirmation. We haven't seen that confirmation uh, for that candle that... Uh, um, that traded after the bullish breakout we saw the buyers lose commitment on a candle where neither side took control of the market. We've now then seen the uh, sellers close with control in this current candle closing back within the, the bands and suggesting that this uh, previous move was a false breakout and if you uh, follow what I like to see it's the strong follow through after the breakout and we failed to see that. So now there's an opportunity here for the sellers and uh, if the sellers do continue to uh, sell off this market we're looking to the middle of the bands at 47.28 to hold a support and then down around the 45.41 level. 
at the moment we're seeing some resistance come in at the upper band at uh, roughly 49 uh, it's yep around 49 so uh, we could see some selling coming in uh, around that area in the market test to lower levels Moving next to wheat futures and uh, on the rally off this very strong bullish candle that traded once again back up through the $500 round number level, we've seen the formation of a weak indecisive spinning top type candle. So the momentum that we saw here to the upside, the strong buying has really lost its uh, capacity to trade to higher levels. We have formed a higher high and a higher low, but we've formed an indecisive a spinning top type candle and it sets the market up for a change of trend to the downside. Now for the second day we've seen the market unable to close through the Tenkatsen indicator and it's been quite some time since we've seen a close down through there uh, with the market finding resistance there for the previous day and being rejected from above there for today's trading. Now if the sellers do come into the market strongly and change this trend looking to continued strong support around the $500 level and just beyond. Um, but we do have a bearish market in all three time frames and selling now on the back of this indecisive candle is uh, the greater likelihood uh, or the greater probability uh, scenario. Now just looking looking at the bands here and the bands uh, give us a slightly different perspective here and um, following the very strong bearish uh, price activity down below the lower band we saw the market trade within the bands then the formation of the spinning top type candle within the bands and the support coming in at the bands for this candle for today. At the moment in this current candle that's forming we're seeing continued support there so a lot is going to depend on how the market behaves around this area. The uh, bottom band is trading at 507.71 and if we can close in a bearish manner down below there we could see uh, continued downside testing possibly down to the swing lows around the 491 if we can breach the $500 round number level but uh, this really does put uh, a different uh, perspective on any uh, potential change of trend that we could see here following the weak indecisive spinning top type candle. Next to corn futures and uh, here following uh, a similar type of uh, bullish candle that we saw for uh, wheat futures we uh, have formation of an indecisive spinning top type candle as we saw with wheat futures again. Um, this is slightly different. Um, we have a potential um, a reversal pattern here forming we have a potential bearish harami pattern and a potential tweezers top type pattern where we have the uptrend still in place and we see these two highs around the same level so we'll be looking for a potential lower high and lower low and the story here as with wheat futures is about the loss of strength from the buyers the loss of control and loss of commitment with indecision entering the market now for that change of trend to occur to the downside the sellers are going to have to be very strong because we have the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud around that area roughly about 379.50 and any breach down below there in a bearish manner uh, may then find support down around the uh, Tenkatsen trading around 377 but if the sellers are strong enough to breach down through there and uh, any uh, continued selling off this uh, formation of the indecisive candle would be in line with the bearish market in the medium term time frame by trading below the uh, Kijun Sen. Um, we could then see the market testing down to lower levels and possibly down to 367. Now just looking at the bands here and here for the second conse consecutive trading day we've seen resistance form in the middle of the bands in a similar manner to uh, when we saw the market rallying up here to about the 405 level and we've seen very strong selling. We haven't seen the selling here but the indecisiveness does suggest that there is a good likelihood of the sellers coming into the market. The middle of the bands set uh, 384.19 may continue to hold as resistance. If we see selling coming in and the uh, trend change to the downside, looking for strong support at the lower band at 375.86. Moving next to the US 30 year bonds and following the two fairly large black body candles uh, and the sellers in control, we've seen formation of a white body candle today, not changing the trend, but the buyers taking control, showing some upside uh, uh, net momentum and the shift in momentum away from the sellers to the buyers suggests a good potential for a change of trend. Um, we've seen uh, 
good uh, buying coming in at the 148.23 level of uh, previous support and prior to that uh, previous resistance and with the market being bullish in the longer term and medium term time frames it suggests that uh, there is uh, a possibility of the buyers coming back into the market and trading to higher levels. This bullish activity is uh, strongly supported by the ticker span. Um, the problem here for the buyers may be, however, the strong resistance at the Tenkan indicator, trading around the 150 level, and also the previous uh, resistance and support level at 150.06. Um, already, as this new candle is forming, we're seeing some resistance around this area, so that's going to be a good test for the uh, buyers. But if we do see selling coming back into the market, watching support down below 148.23. Now, just taking a look at the... Um, uh, S&P 500 futures on the hourly charts and uh, looking at the relationship of the pivot point levels and here prior to uh, today's trading we saw the market uh, rallying up through the Ichimoku cloud through the middle pivot point level through the first resistance level and finding resistance roughly around that second pivot point uh, resistance level as we saw the uh, new session open for today's trading activity, we saw the market trading well above the uh, Ichimoku cloud and the market was looking a little overextended. And then midway through the trading day, we saw the market sell off and find support down around the middle point, pivot point level and then around the Kijin Sen indicator. So the um, support around that level, roughly about the 203 one level, was quite strong. The market rallied off there and then in the last couple of hours of trading, we saw some strong selling coming in with this fairly large black body candle. Now the market has uh, begun testing within the Ichimoku cloud. So for the previous couple of trading days we've seen some strong bullish activity but now some resistance. And a lot is going to, to depend on how the market reacts around the top of the Ichimoku cloud, roughly about 2029, 2030, and then the middle pivot point level around 2032, 2031, and just above there at the tank and scene about 2035. If the buyers are strong enough and they can breach those levels, then we could see the market testing up to the first resistance level, about 2040, and then even possibly to the second, around 2059. But if we see selling coming in off these levels, uh, we'll be looking to strong support at 2014 and then at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud, roughly about the 2009, 2010 level.